Good morning from Laird River Airstrip. That's what I'm calling this campsite. The uh, spot just over the other side, if you saw in the drone footage, is an airstrip or an old one anyway. Doesn't look like it gets that much use anymore. But I could be wrong, you know, I'm not a pilot. However, these campsites, these are great, and I spotted from the air quite a few more along the embankment. They're real nice. Chance back to his talkative self this morning. Mostly because Brave is here, he just likes to act up a little bit. So yeah, I've been hanging out with Calvin, and uh, after 24 hours of just hanging out with him and talking to him, I can tell you a few things about him. He's a prospector, he's heading up to the Yukon to go find some gold. He's a pagan, worships the Norse gods, and uh, yeah, usually be driving up, but he gave his uh, car to his girlfriend because her car just broke down, so as fortune would have it, now he's uh, camping out with me. And we're going to travel together today as well, so should be fun. Well, we didn't get that far down the road and we discovered this, the Smith River Falls. We're gonna do a little hike, get right up to it. This is freaking gorgeous. Welcome to the Signpost Forest in Watson Lake, Yukon. This spot is kind of cool. In 1942, they were building the Alaskan Highway, the road that we've been going down. And a homesick soldier for the American Army here working and building this highway put up a sign to his hometown in Danville, Illinois. And uh, ever since then, other travelers coming through have been adding their own signs. And as you can see, it's kind of gotten to be a pretty big deal. It's huge. Thousands and thousands of signs now. It's just a cool little piece of travel lore. Just found Champ's hometown. Here it is. Champ, check it out. Aurelia, Ontario. Aurelia, buddy. Look at it. The sign's right there. I know, it's exciting, I know. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. We can drive around to the sky and see me. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. I got my hands out the window, feeling the 
ocean breeze Are we alone again? Just you and I On another one of our famous midnight drives Do you need to rant or just stay silent? Either or you know I'm complying Take a left up ahead, we're going towards the horizon Don't stop going till we see the sun rising You know this is who we are, this is what we do Driving in circles till we find something new The only person I enjoy sitting in the car with Is you If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat We can drive around till the sky and see me I'll be beside you, staring out the window, looking at the summer view. Find by you, I'll be next to you. Welcome to the Yukon Hotel. We've come to try their amazing, amazing hamburgers. You want some vinegar? They are legendary. Look at this thing. <laughs> Worth it? Yeah. Well, we did it. We can turn around now. <laughs> no! <laughs> if it's fine by you, I'll be beside you. Speeding down the highway with the wind blowing through. Everything around us feeling minuscule. If it's fine by, fine, fine by you, I'll take, take, take the passenger seat. If it's fine by, fine, fine by you, I'll take, take, take the passenger seat. If it's fine by, fine, fine. So welcome to our campground. We just found this one not too far outside of that uh, little diner we stopped at. It's pretty nice. It's right on top of a hill. We have a lake on this side and a lake on the other side. And a nice little hill to overlook everything. You can still kind of hear the highway in the distance, but it doesn't bother us at all. It's gonna be a nice quiet spot and the highway definitely dies down as soon as the sun goes down because uh, this is uh, the Alaskan Highway, and she's a little risky at night. So as I mentioned before, Calvin is a uh, prospector, a miner, a gold digger, as it were. Yeah, not the nasty type, though. <laughs> and uh, he's going to show me how to pan for gold here. It's not exactly the most ideal place, but uh, we might get lucky anyway. Gold. So you're looking for smooth pebbles for water erosion. Yeah. But you're pulling just this is topsoil, I guess, and you're going for the sand underneath. The gravels underneath. Okay. Gold needs the water to travel. The best thing is to find the old creek beds where the creek used to run. Okay, I'll stop yours around there. I'll cook over to this side. When you throw your pan in, keep, keep the top pretty much level with the water. Get it wet and turn everything in. The reason you want to turn it is that you get all the material wet and get everything down to the bottom, everything heavy. Keep the top of your pan basically level with water. Yeah. When you're shaking it, don't let the material jump out. It's like washing sushi rolls. Designed to catch everything down at the bottom. Yeah.
spinning around just to get the black sand and the color out of the to get all the light stuff down yeah and leaving the blacks up top the black sand is where you have all your color in as you can see that's your black sand that's your garbage sand gotcha little flag little color right in there about a 75 cent pan there we go and that took you how long <laughs> too long <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did two pans <laughs> yeah i farmed up ourselves 75 cents worth of gold things are going well <laughs> not in in about three minutes yeah so i mean I made a McDonald's uh, employee I'm, I'm a wage, what do you think? Yeah, so? about that. Actually, you, well, if we dig a lot deeper, you could make a little bit more than a McDonald's wage. <laughs> there you go. That's gold right there. Raw Yukon gold. Big difference. Okay, now you got all your nice little golds right in there. All right. It's the sound of metal on metal. That's the sound of gold on metal. And very, very, very carefully, make sure you don't lose anything else other than the water. Nice and dry that is. Two and a half hours of McDonald's wages. There you go.